CG family. Uh, I'm back in the kitchen again and I'm making a soup called Napa Chicken Soup. This is going to be a P2 friendly soup. If you use coconut oil or MCT oil, it will be okay for you to use. I do mixed vegetables and um, seem to have no problem with that, only on days like today. But we're going to start right now. Um, I'm, you can see I've got a lot of things laid out right here. I already put one tablespoon of MCT oil in the pot. We're heating it up. The second thing we're going to do, I have like two tablespoons of onions here, maybe three. And just so you know, uh, a tablespoon of onions is four calories, about four calories. So there might be ten calories in this. Uh, in the onions. So we're going to let that start browning. And while that's browning, uh, we're going to get our Napa cabbage chopped up. So here is, I don't know if you know this, there's different types of cabbages, right? This is Napa cabbage. And what I do is, normally I think Chinese uh, food people take it and they roll uh, rice and chicken mi mixtures and stuff. I know when I go to P.F. Chang's it's normally rolled in this and it's delish. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it, and this is organic by the way, I cut about three, four, five, just enough for about a cup of um, Napa cabbage. Maybe one more. And uh, I wash it. Now this cabbage, just so you know, this cabbage is not the kind of cabbage that is spicy at all. It is not going to be spicy in your soup. So if you like a spicy soup, you're going to have to add seasonings to it. Um, so that's a little, probably about a cup of Napa cabbage right there. And just so you know, one cup of Napa cabbage is 17 calories. Okay, we're going to stir our onions and um, I may use a tiny bit of salt in this recipe because basically nothing is going to have salt. Uh, you want some Brussels sprouts and I went ahead and just used five Brussels sprouts. I cut them in half and quartered if they were big and I uh, got that ready. I put about one stalk of celery. I chopped it up and um, I have my onions browning and I have some chicken here. And the chicken I had fried a few days ago in coconut oil and I sprayed the chicken with the Bragg's aminos, liquid aminos, while I was cooking it. Um, you're also going to want some garlic and as you know garlic is one of those free foods basically on um, P2. And as, as our onions are browning, they're almost finished browning, we're going to add our garlic in. And uh, what I do when I start to make a soup also is I go ahead and boil me some water. My water is pretty much boiled. It's going to make some noise here, but it's pretty much boiled. Here, it, I'm going to let take it off so it doesn't make a lot of noise. It's already boiled. Um, you're going to need some chicken stock, and I suggest you get one that says unsalted or no salt added, okay? And uh, this is very low in calories. It's 24 calories for a cup. We're, we're not even going to, we're going to use one cup in this. Uh, it really needs to have, it needs it for the soup part. And uh, if you guys don't know, on my P2 this time, I pretty much have given up the Melba's. That's 50 calories a day. So I can afford to have a little bit more calories on the veggies or uh, the soups. I'm going to go ahead and drop my garlic in. We want to sear it to where um, you don't want to burn it. You just want to sear it in the uh, onions and the MCT oil. And um, these are some of the other seasonings that I want you to go and go get. Uh, while that's searing, we can go ahead and drop our chicken in. I'll go ahead and drop my chicken in. 
I'm going to put one more squirt of the Bragg's and eat my Minos in there. That was three squirts. <laughs> um, it smells awesome. And uh, can you zoom in on the pot? This is what it looks like right now. The, the bottom of the pot is starting to get a little uh, discolored. And so uh, now would be a good time to uh, start adding some other things. I'm going to add uh, my celery. And I'm going to add, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic powder. I like a lot of garlic and onion. You guys know that. Garlic and onion powder. There's some garlic powder. I Here's some extra onion powder. Some Here is some chicken broth. Morning One cup of chicken broth. Now, if you don't want that many calories uh, from the chicken broth, go ahead and just you cut it down to half a cup of the chicken broth to 12 calories. And um, go ahead at this point and put your uh, Brussels sprouts, your five Brussels sprouts there in there, and go ahead and drop your Napa cabbage in there. Um, we're going to add some other seasonings. One of my favorite soup seasonings is basil. Now, uh, just for you guys, I'm going to measure. This is a tablespoon right here, but I'm going to put a half a tablespoon of basil because I think it's the most wonderful perfume in the whole world. That was for Angie. Uh, I'm going to put a couple of bay leaves in here, okay? Just get you a bay leaf. Love the smell of bay leaves. Bay leaves are just so medicinal and healthy for you. Put a little bit of rosemary, and even though this says McCormick's rosemary, I just put like a pinch. It's not even a fourth of a teaspoon. It's probably an eighth, and I break it up. Uh, it's from my garden, and then I put a little bit of thyme, probably about a fourth of a teaspoon of thyme in there. And I need to get that, that one out. And we're going to put uh, some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb in here. I'm going to be generous, probably about a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. And then I'm going to put a little bit of the lemon pepper, Mrs. Dash. And the last thing I add is about a teaspoon or half a tablespoon of parsley. Okay, par I have to have parsley in everything. Parsley is so good for you. And if you don't like parsley, there's always cilantro. Use cilantro. So, now at this point, it's, it's cooking down. You definitely want to put your timer on 30 minutes. This is a soup that you're going to prepare, and it's going to be ready within an hour, okay? And as you can see, all the seasonings and stuff and the goodness in there. But I'm going to add probably about a half a cup of boiling water and then in about 10 minutes I'm going to check on it and I'm going to add a little bit more water. You don't want it to cook too far down. So you just keep checking on it. And it's going to take about 30 minutes to soften all of these vegetables. Um, I personally am going to put about, this is my Himalayan salt you guys, probably about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt in there. And if it's not salty enough, I will put some extra seasonings in my bowl. But I'm not going to put more than that while it's cooking. Um, what? That's it for now. And so what I'm going to do in the magic of digital world is... See, I forgot to tell you guys that once you get this cooking for the 30 minutes, I want you to turn your burner down to like between 4 and 5, so between low and medium. 
because it's going to continue to boil. You don't want it to boil all of your water out. And continually add a little bit of water, not much, maybe about an eighth or a fourth of a teaspoon, uh, fourth of a cup. Hey, HCG family, guess what? My soup is ready, and this is what it looks like. We're going to pour it in the bowl, and it, you're going to see that this fills up a lot of your bowl. It may even overflow my bowl, but I let it cook down to where it's uh, very thick, the broth is, and um, go ahead and fish your bay leaf out of there. I have two of them. And, um, that is my chicken Napa soup for P2. I'm, oh, one other thing, I added a little bit of Tony's in there, not even a fourth of a teaspoon, but I needed a little bit of kick, like spice, so I added that, and I added a little tiny bit of pepper. So good luck with yours, and tell me if you like it, and I hope you don't gain, um, peace out.